Hello YouTube and thank you for tuning in to yet another Hanging With Heavy video. I want you to hang with me on this welding video series as I teach you how to read blueprints for welders and metal fabricators. So come on, let's go to the whiteboard of knowledge and I'm going to teach you how to read a blueprint for a welder. Alright, now that we've got started, let's take a look at the very three basic lines that you've got to know if you're going to start reading blueprints. Number one is going to be the object line. Now it's a thick, heavy line. It's going to be a real dark line and it's going to show the outside shape of an object or a hole or something like that. Next, you've got to understand the hidden line. The hidden line is a broken line of medium thickness with a dash. Dash, 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 dash. This will tell you that there's something there that you can't see, but you better be aware of it. And the last one is called the center line, which is a fine line of long and short dashes. And this is going to help show you the center of an object, be it a tank, a hole, or where something is to be located. So those are the three basic lines that we're going to have to understand to continue on with our blueprint reading for metal fabricators. Okay, welders, let's take a look at what we've got going on here. This type of view is known as an orthographic projection, and it consists of a top or plan view, a front view, and a right side view. These are the three typical views. You can also have a left side view, and also a bottom view if necessary. Let's take a look at this little print that we've got here and let's see if you can begin to identify some of the lines that we're, we're uh, talking about. Now if you're keeping notes, this is a good place to start. A. What kind of line is A? What's it showing us? It's showing that there's a piece of metal out here, material out here, and it's going all the way through here and we can't really see it. So that's called, what type of line is A? B? Now B is showing us the outside, the outside shape of an object and or holes. And it's a, it's a thick line, a thick heavy line. Let's take a look at C. C is showing us that this is six inches from this point here to this point here. So this would be known as what? Think about that. Think about C. If you're, if you're following along with me, think about this. Ah, look at this. D. What is D? D is once again showing us the outside shape of an object. Take a look at E. E is showing us that this edge of this object is being extended down and that is called an extension line. I don't think I covered that with you yet, so let's talk about that. That's an extension line. And let's take a look here at J. I know you wonder what happened to E, F, G, H, I. Let's take a look at J. J is once again a center line that's going right through the middle showing us where the center of that hole is to be. Now, there's some notes on here, specifications. One inch punch. They want us to punch this hole, not drill it. We know that the overall size of the object is four inches by six inches. We know that this piece of material here is two inches, okay? We also know that it's half inch thick because over here, we're showing this to be one half inch from here to here, and the overall size to be one inch thick from here to here. So this makes this a one half inch piece of material also. These are some of the things you're gonna to have to learn to look around and look for on your print. Now, could we build this from this? I don't know. Is there something missing from this print? Well, I would say there is. Number one, we don't have any center line here. And that's something that you're going to want to uh, learn to pick up on. Now, 
I'm going to even show you how to draw these type of drawings so that if you have an idea, you can go to your supervisor or if you're, if you're the supervisor, you can go to whoever, the engineer, and explain yourself. So, this is our first uh, print. And um, I want you to uh, be thinking about this. Fine lines. Thick, heavy lines. Lines extending from an object, lines showing a dimension. Keep in mind, this is called orthographic projection. Hang with Heve as we take a look at another basic print using orthographic projection. All right, YouTube, now that wraps up our first unit on blueprint reading for welders and metal fabricators. And I hope that you will be able to get a little bit of knowledge from this and follow along with me as we go along so that you can be a better welder. Now, you know, this is all about improving yourself. A lot of us don't have the money to go to college or go to trade school. But if you tune in to Hanging With Heavy, you'll sure enough learn. I can promise you that. So. You know what I want you to do? I want you to like, share, and subscribe. And listen, go over there and hit that little bell button note that they have on the uh, screen there, or the alert button, so that every time you get a Hanging With Heavy video comes out, every time I put one of those out there, bang, it comes up on your line. You can go ahead and check it out right away. I'm going to try and put out these type of videos once a week, and um, we'll see what happens. All right? So. You know what I want you to do? Like, share, subscribe, and you know, where am I going to catch you? Outside in the shop! <laughs>